Did. Morning. Where's your buddy? She don't know. Morning. Morning. Sixteen. Solid test weight too. We've had some lower test weights this year, assuming because of the drought. But this looks pretty good. Gotta catch the man here. It's getting a little full for these hills. There's a pretty steep one right here and it's easy to dump grain out the top. We had an early morning start today. We had the... I'm trying to get words in here. I've been trying to explain to you guys. I've been trying to explain that we started really early this morning. Never mind. Let me know in the comments below what you think I've been trying to say. Beautiful morning out here and this corn is just dry enough that we're actually taking it straight to the ethanol plant. So that's fantastic news because from where we're sitting in the field here we're about a third of the way to the ethanol plant from our house. So instead of hauling it back home and running it through our system, loading it back up later and hauling there anyway, we can go right from the field to the ethanol plant. So that's really good for us. I've had people asking and our yields, even on corn, are average at best. We've got spots where it yields really, really well. We've got spots where it's yielding really poorly. I think overall the deal is that it just got planted kind of in the mud, which we needed to because it never dried up. And then once the stuff was growing, we didn't get enough rain. So we had enough heat, especially in July, but then in August it just got so dry and things started to burn up. So anywhere there's a light spot in the field, the corn just, it couldn't recover from that. And same with the soybeans. So our yields overall are gonna be average at best this year but the corn is dry, the weather's fantastic. You know, I'm not gonna complain. Morning 23. Morning. That's a load 23. That's more, thank you. As the grain cart operator, it's my job to jump out and make sure this thing is doing a good job. So I got a couple minutes here. I'm going to make sure we're putting corn in the tank as much as we can and not much on the ground. When I delivered that load this morning, the corn looked really, really clean to me. So it's doing a good job of cleaning the corn. We're just going to make sure it's doing a good job of not putting it out here. I'd say it's doing a really good job and there's not anything left on the cobs there's not a lot of split cobs so the concaves are open enough uh, i think it's set beautifully we are going to switch fields here for a little bit the combine and cart here are caught up and we aren't going to have a truck for about 15 minutes uh, just because the ethanol plant is quite a ways away so it takes some time so we're going to actually move to the next field that is one mile south of here so it's a little bit closer for the trucks coming and it's gonna be a little bit slower because we've got a test plot on it. This is an example of when a folding header is really, really handy. Fold it up, go a mile down the road and unfold. What we used to do is have one guy in the combine and one guy outside, typically me, running the header trailer and we'd have to unhook. In a situation like this for one mile with a 30 foot head, I guess we just would have, we just would have gone, pulled off the road if we needed to. But this way, those 800 duels on the combine are actually wider than the head, so we don't have to worry about it at all. I'm gonna hop in here and, and uh, check on the iPad to see exactly where the test plot starts in here. I've explained it a little bit before, but for the people who maybe haven't seen it, what the test plot is, is we've got about 10 or 15, I'd have to look in here how many different varieties, but we run 10 or 15 different varieties through here to test them, to see how they yield, see what the moisture is, see what the test weight is on it. And then we give that data to our local uh, county corn and soybean grower board. And then that data goes out to the members. And then the money from that, actually there's money that comes in from that because each hybrid or each company that's in the plot pays $500 to be a part of it. 
and that money all goes towards local students that are going into an ag related field so it goes towards uh, scholarships for those students so it's a good thing to do for the community it's good for the kids it's, it's good for the ag industry locally especially it's good for the companies it's good for our organization and it's uh, good information for the local farmers here that are members of that organization to have did it come up here no uh, not yet doing something wrong or what the deal is there separator engaged header engaged increasing engine thrust leveling the wings we have liftoff John Deere Sierra 780 maintaining an altitude of 1424 MSL at a heading of 090 I guessed on the uh, altitude because that that's that's just the uh, MSL of our local airport. I suppose I could have just said zero AGL, but that doesn't sound as cool, does it? So right now I'm taking the normal rows, which is in the yellow, in the blue there. That is the uh, test plot. So right off here, to my right, to my south, is where the test plot starts. For now, we're going to knock out a few more here to get a truck going again. Look at that. See, that's that's solid number. That's good corn in our area, but it just doesn't stay there very much. Again, I'm not complaining. I mean, we're gonna, we'll be all right. We are ready to start taking some varieties here. So I'm gonna take my first 12 rows across. I am gonna zero out this counter and he's gonna zero himself in the grain cart as well once he gets empty over on that end. That way we'll have two readings to make sure that the scale weight and the moisture ends up just right. Now we record the weight and the moisture. Record it on the grain cart. On me here, standing still. Do that over and over and over again until we're done with this plot. He's got his scale zeroed out in there, so we'll make sure our scales line up and that'll give us test number one. Now we just continue to repeat, repeat, repeat. Finish the test plot up, so we'll take that data and send it to the people that need it. Meanwhile, we've got uh, maybe 20 acres to finish down here. Down here south by the highway, you know? Yeah, you know where it is. Just south of the north field over there by Jim Moe's old place. Well, that does it for this field, and that window could maybe use a wash, and I don't know. The landowner that we rent this field from, he's got cattle, so he's got the rake going. He's going to bale up some corn stalks, corn, corn stalks, corn stalks, corn stalk bales. Folding the hopper! Anybody remember Austin Powers? Frau Farbisna? Millennials in their old movie quotes. Oh, what is that? That is a mess. Goonies. I'm sorry, I'll stop now. Kids, you ask your dads. They'll get those references. Oh, thank goodness we're back in this field because I left my lunchbox in the pickup. I haven't really been out there, but I hear it's 60 degrees and I can see that it's mostly sunny. Another awesome day. Unbelievable. We're getting to the end of November. And we've got 60 degrees today. It's supposed to be in the 70s here in a few days. Unbelievable. Got a second here to get out and stretch. Grain cart's full. I'm full. We're waiting on a truck. And that right there, that's a full Prairie Big Top. Not a whole lot of room left in there. Five to two, do you feel full over there? I think you can put a little bit more on. 80? 80,103. That might be a new record. I think you go for 85. <laughs> Come on, 8320, you can do it. She's chugging. A lot of people ask if that 8320 is enough tractor for that big grain cart. And honestly, no, not really. We got some time to wait for a truck again. And I'm down to, I don't know, a third tank of fuel, so let's top it off. Oh! Needed some fresh air. 
Kind of smells like someone farted in there. Yeah, maybe we'll leave it open for a minute. I don't want to melt the headliner. I've been the gopher all fall. My legs aren't used to sitting still for that long. You gonna make it? I think I'll make it. Yeah, I'll be all right. Good. I'm tougher than hell, Nate. You wouldn't believe how long I can sit in the chair. I can believe it. I didn't even have enough to fill it on my... No. Why didn't he fill it? Huh? Your dad said he filled it yesterday. Before he went... After he went to gym. I thought that was two days ago. I don't know, but he said he filled it yesterday. We're low on diesel, I know that. At all? Yeah. She's all loaded up, thanks here to Thunder. I didn't say it right. You know the one thing those trailers are missing though? They need a little water tank with a little spout on it like some of the sprayers have so you can wash the nasty death fluid off your hands when you're done. Just a little like three gallon water tank just to rinse your hands. We're on our last little round here tonight. We've got about 60 acres left over here that's connected to this field then we got another 20 acres to hit on the way home and then we got about another 70 acres at home and that's it like that's that's what we have left look at that look at that reflection i can't stop it it just it just reflects normally my lighting team would be here to put a blanket over those screens but they're not here so i'm kind of i'm filming all on my own today All right, ladies, tell them good night. Say thank you for watching. All right, we'll see you. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for. I'm not going to do the dog voices. These dogs. Well, I won't reveal the secret. I'll tell you guys sometime. You got an itch there, Anna? Oh yeah. Thanks for watching.